Hi everyone, I'm Willy Smith and this is my preview of Clover Tour 2017. Okay, so in this preview, um, I'll discuss a little bit of history about Clover Tour, the team I'm riding for, the riders that will be participating with me um, in road cover at Clover Tour. Um, I'll discuss each stage analytics and profile in depth. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of um, the most important rules of the tour to finish it off with. This is Road Cover, our title sponsor for 2017. This is the bike I'll be riding at Clover Tour. And these are some of my teammates. Okay, so let's go into a bit of history of the race, starting with Barry Stunder. Remember, it, Clover Tour always used to be uh, Hraskop Jorklans before it moved to Clover Tour for the last six years. Um, and I saw the Clover Tour, but um, the venue has changed. Um, it's in Swadini now. Um, so I hope you enjoy a bit of history of the tour. As we can see, uh, um, this is an article when it was still Hraskop Jorklans. Um, here's an article by Rewrote in 2009 when racing the tour um, it had a few there was the first stage had a few laps um, of God's window for exactly five laps but we were second on that stage in 2009 there was a hill climb obviously he was a bit fatigued um, after his efforts um, and then on the last day it was quite memorable for me because we also raced on this day starting in Hraskup all the way to the top of Long Tom Pass 2000 meters above sea level um, I can remember this stage very well. Um, I was in a group with, as a junior, with Christopher Njerden, where in the start of Staircase, which is a 10k climb, which goes all the way to the top, the final climb, Christoph stopped and grabbed a pancake from the side of the road. Um, I'll never forget that moment. Um, obviously, I was flat out. They were just obviously riding in the group peto to finish. In 2010, obviously the name changed and it was known as Clover Tour. Um, 2010, that year, Kevin Evans won second, Sean Wall, Jason Bucker, um, as you can see, are uh, the rest of the guys. This is Kevin Evans on the right hand side. Um, as a junior, I was a big fan of him and always admired his style of riding. In 2011, this guy, yeah, Louis Mankis, was a revelation after winning against a very strong MTN Quebecer and Bonitas team. Here is a small article by Cycling wrote about Louis. Um, teenager up stages, big guns. Um, obviously, we worked really hard for Louis. We assisted where we can, but to be honest, um, he really made the win happen for himself. It wasn't that much teamwork. Um, however, we played a small, ro a small role in that um, and obviously two-time top 10 finisher in the Tour de France. Absolutely a talented rider um, and someone you can look up to. Again in 2012, uh, we managed to upset some of the bigger teams here. On my left hand side, Nick White, Steven van Yerden, Martin Skeppel, uh, leading Clover Tour. Uh, we we led the tour until the second final day where I lost with eight seconds on the hill climb to Max Knox and Max Knox ended up being the overall winner. I had to settle for the white jersey um, in 2012. In 2013 it was a revelation of Dylan Gerolstein. Yeah, you can see him celebrating the Tour of Rwanda win with his teammates. He went on to win Clover Tour 2013 in 2013 overall. JC now won the race overall in 2014. In 2015, I became the first rider to win the tour repeatedly, defending my title successfully in 2016. I remember this day very well, discussing tactics with Nick White just before the start of the final stage, and probably telling me to just push harder on the pedals. Now in 2017, the race will be held at Swadini, obviously. Um, not that sent not so much sentimental value to me anymore as it's not close to my hometown anymore and my local training grounds it's much more flat but it will still be an awesome race and there should be a lot of excitement as the roads are always quite tough 
Okay, and lastly, before starting with the stage analysis, um, here's Nick White, and let's listen what he's got to say about Clover Tour 2017. Hi, my name's Nick White. I run the Road Cover Cycling Team, and uh, we're looking forward to the Clover Low Fall Tour in the next few days. So, um, yes, it's one of the fixtures on the calendar, and uh, our team has had a lot of success over there in the past. We feel it is a great event, and um, yeah, the reason for our team to to have so much success is that we have riders who have a lot of it aspirations to be top guys and uh, really it's a chance to showcase their form and to try and do their best so yeah they're hungry for success and uh, I think the characters of the riders prove that they work hard and uh, it's a chance for them to to show what they can do so really looking forward to the next few days and uh, watch the space and follow our riders in their progress. Hi everyone so if you're watching this this is the start venue for Clover Tour 2017. Obviously we'll start here in front of the boom gates, um, head out on this section of Tar Road here, and then turn left. The road in the beginning isn't that smooth but uh, it's quite safe so nothing really more to worry about than a puncture. Um, this is quite an uphill drag all the way to this T section here. So every day you come up here um, whatever category you are, it's going to be a tough uphill drag section. So this is basically there. Um, this is also where the time trial route will be. Um, all the way out and back to the T-junction, um, it's about 20 kilometers. Um, but it will be a fast time trial as there is obviously no big climbs in it. So this is Clover Tour 2017. It starts on the 6th of August, Swadini, Hootspray, Swadini, a clockwise route. Uh, the race always starts at the same place and finishes at the same place, obviously, except for the criteria. The elite, uh, these are the different starting times. Elite all first, then the vets, 30 plus, 40 plus, and junior main, and then the on the 17. The prize giving will be at 6. This is a route profile we all do on stage 1. Um, we'll go out in a clockwise direction, start here at Swadini, go out on a bit, bit of a rough road and then from there on the road is usually um, fine. The stage might not be as boring as expected. Um, remember we are in August so there is quite a lot of wind. Uh, it usually should come from the right hand side Maybe a, a head gutter, yeah, tail gutter, yeah, but you never know what quite to expect. But as I've said, it might not be as boring as you expected. The profile, we can see the organizers have even categorized it for us a Cat 4 and a Cat 5. Um, you won't see that in the Pro Peloton, but this is quite awesome. It's not really tough climbs, as you can see, it's a mere 2.4, 1.4 percent for like 8 kilometers. That's just like basically a flat drag. Um, fairly flat route, uh, nothing serious to worry about except the wind. Day 2 of Clover Tour, obviously 7 August 2017. So Dini, Jeche, Tunnel, towards Graskop and obviously we return. Uh, these are the different start times as you can see once again. 9 o'clock, awesome. It's not a 7 a.m. start so there's actually time to digest your food and get it down your belly before you start. Opinion, uh, this will be the queen stage, normal start at Swadini, head out on the small TT route that you'll be doing on stage 3, and then it's just basically straight forward all the way up Stradum Tunnel, but once you think you're all the way at the top, um, you're going to do a 6k descent, make a turn around and come all the way back up, your legs might be dead after that 6k descent, and then you start climbing again um, so you better hope you've got good legs on this day then the long 20 plus k descent with some rolly roads all the way back to the finish remember the drag going up to the finish that one's going to hurt this is a queen stage um, last year we had some gutter um, so it will be quite interesting actually we had gutter on the climb See, there's quite a lot of categorized climbs there are cat 4 nothing serious a cat 1 um, that's gonna hurt 18 kilometers at 4% um, 
it's only 4% because there's a section here which is quite flat. So it's probably like the two sections at the start and the top which is quite difficult. Um, then it goes down a bit. Remember I said you're going to descend and start climbing again. This is a turnaround point here. Start climbing again. Doing that climb. 6k is at 5% and doing a 20k this is day three of clover tour the time trial be will be first thing in the morning um, these are the different start times for all the categories have a good look at it because um, there's two stages afternoon we'll have the uh, time trial is reasonably flat it's just out and back um, it's basically a no-brainer you just go as fast as you can and hopefully you've got the best time this is a route profile for the individual time trial. It's 20 kilometers long. The elevation gain is a mere 250 meters. Um, so yeah, it's basically out and back. Yeah, you turn around. So like I said, it's a no-brainer. This is a criterium, a small circle route. Um, this is quite interesting. It's got one steep kick, but nothing serious otherwise this is a route profile of the criterium um, like i said one small kick here it's two kilometers long so nothing serious and yeah it will basically be 45 minutes plus one lap two kilometers long okay so lastly for those of you doing clover to 2017 let's quickly go over the rules these are only the most important rules that you should know um no urination in public places unfortunately this won't be allowed um, crossing the white line could result in disqualification with disqualification or hefty fine no motor pacing will be allowed um, if you've got a mechanical in the final three kilometers you'll get the same time as the bunch you were in um, you won't be allowed to throw away your water bottles or your bar wrappers, whatever, your gels, etc. Um, this is unacceptable. Um, and obviously there will be no time cutoffs. Um, yeah, and remember, don't bring a bike with disc brakes on. That will also not be allowed.